Now we're going to deep half guard. We're going to turn our side, okay? One thing I'm going to make sure at all times is that my head is down like this, okay? My arms are tucked in tight, so we can't reach around and grab my neck. Okay, so we can't reach around and grab that collar. I don't want that. Okay, and everyone here pretty much knows that if I push my arm, I give it to him. So I don't want him to be able to hook my arm right now. Later on, I might want him to. I'll show you later. Okay. So I got my neck tucked down here, guys. Okay, this arm's tight. This arm's tight. This is the main arm I have to watch out for. But my neck, of course. I'm gonna grab his pants. And I'm gonna walk this way a little bit. Look, and shove my arm down inside. It's as simple as that. And now in deep half guard. We're not gonna talk about deep half guard moves, but but it's so easy for me to get there. It's kind of ridiculous. So here, I turn on my side. Okay, I'm protected first. All the time, I make sure that my neck is not gonna be available here. Okay, my bottom hand grabs here and I start walking towards his foot. Once I get about this far, I'm gonna really just shuck my shoulder to the floor and push his foot between my legs at the same time. Okay. And now I'm in deep half. Okay. One more time. So here, I'm going to turn my side. Grab the bottom leg. Okay. I'm gonna start walking this way. I gotta get, shuck my shoulder in one time hard. Okay, so, yeah, sorry, okay, good. Now Marcel is really flexible, so he sits really well. Other people, man, are gonna be a little higher, it's just real super easy to get in there, you know what I mean? All right, let's try it out, one, two. All right, so again, my head's here. I, I hold his leg with both hands this time. As long as my head's down here, I'm okay. My elbow has to stay down, of course. I don't want him reaching under my arm or anything. Okay, I just move. Again, move myself. Big shrimp. I insert my top knee right there. Okay, what does it make him want to do? Makes him want to pull himself back. He wants to pull his leg out. As he pulls his leg out, he helps me. Right back to the guard. You know what I mean? <laughs> if he doesn't, I still can move. I can do it myself, but a lot of times the initial reaction he has is to get that leg off that hook. You know, he wants to kick that leg off there. So here, I shrimp again, hold his pants and move myself. Bring that top knee in and hook that foot. Okay? If he doesn't, if he doesn't try to pull his leg out, if he does try to pull his leg out, I'll go for the right. Yep. Okay? If he doesn't pull his leg out, I just lift my hook and myself back in the guard. Okay. So this one here again I'm gonna grab with my hand this time again, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna push myself back a little bit. So I can insert this hand in here. Okay, so just a, I'm gonna hold this again. I don't ever try to move the guy. I always hold Hold and move myself. Just about everything you do in jiu-jitsu, like escape-wise. You hold and move yourself, right? So I'll do a little, little, little shrimp here. Shoot my arm here. I want to get it as uh, far in as I can. Okay, at least up to my uh, the crook of my elbow, okay? And then I'm going to do a sideways bump. It's a bump that goes that way. So, And I'm going to throw him with my arm, too, at the same time. So it's here. Come up, and then I'm going to attack his leg here. Boom. And you know, guys, I love to end up like this with his legs smashed together. And if at all possible, I'd love to put my my knee inside there. Boom. If we get that far, I'll be happy. All right. So. <coughs> We're here. My head's down. My arms are safe. I grab. His pants, little shrimp, get my arm in there, okay? Now I gotta bump sideways, so basically my hip needs to go right there towards the mirror, okay? And I'm also gonna shuck him with my arm, throw him with my arm, here, okay? Come to your knees, attack this leg with both hands, and my, I really, like I said, if I can keep the guy's legs together, I will at all times. 
You know, when I'm trying to pass, I love to keep the legs together, smash together like this. And again, we can stop right here, guys, when you guys get this knee in here. Okay? That sucks, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, one more time. Head down. Grab the pants. Little shrimp. Keep your arm in there. Good hard side bump. And I shut with the arm at the same time. Okay? So, bump. Come to your knees. Check that leg. And then, guys, I don't want to give them time to you know, move around. I'm going to slide right up with my hips really low on his legs. It's going to be hard to deal with. Now, I really like inserting this knee right here whenever possible. Okay? All right. Okay? Let's try it out. One, two. Sometimes, guys, it takes longer for, for me to escape struggling than it would be to give him something, you know? So I'll be kind of lazy with my arm here. Now he's got a hold of it, okay? But I keep my head down here, so he can't have my neck, so I limit his kind of his attack. But he has an arm now. He's like, oh, man, yeah, I got this guy's arm, you know? This is awesome, right? So he's going to start to go for the arm, okay? I know he has to step over my head. So my hand here is already here. I kind of just waiting here. Okay, just hanging out, okay? So as he goes to step over my head, I'm gonna use the side bump again. Go, we're gonna slow motion, boom. He's gonna step that way, okay? And then, and then I'm gonna use that momentum and come back. Look, my hand's already here. Come back. Put your leg over my head. Come on, arm work. Okay? I really like to play with this. And the best way to so really learn this one, guys, and to get the, to get the timing down is to play with it. You know, whether you're whether you're successful or not, it's I mean, just from the time I learned this move, I was using it like the next day and having a lot of fun with it. Okay? So I'm on my side, I kinda sometimes I just dangle my arm here. Like, oh, heck, I'm gonna give up or something, you know? Okay? When he, when he goes to step over, I gotta time it right. It's gonna be fast, go, go fast. Later. See, his foot move, his foot steps over here. My hand goes like this. The back uh, of my hand basically uh, gets glued to my head right here, okay? And I'm, my hand is like a hook, okay? And then I go back with him. Go to my knees and yank my arm right out. And of course, I always like to step forward step up with one leg when I'm that close to the guard, okay? I don't want the guy just rolling. Um, I don't want him just uh, putting me back in closed guard. So. Again, I'm being real lazy with my arms, okay? I know he's gonna go because he can't read my neck. So, a sideways bump right when he goes. And then the momentum, if he's really gonna go, because guys, when the guy wants the arm bar, he's doing a really good for it, so go. So that's a momentum right there. That's the way it's gonna happen. You gotta kind of break it down a little bit to really to, um, get the feeling, you know, but uh, that's why I say put yourself in this position a lot, or if you get caught in the mountain, you wanna escape, you know, get here and see, see what happens, you know, okay? Go again, so it's here, bump, I bump, make him step. My hand's blocking. I'm trying to finish the arm up here. Sometimes, guys, I just play like this. Keep going. I'm going to try to stay, but just see how long I can be. You got to keep going for the arm line. Keep going. Come on, Sage. Come on, Sage. Come on, Sage. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's real bad. You know? So, of course, guys, when I'm playing with it, I might end up in the position sometimes. You know? You know, I just play with it like this. I don't want to throw my, his, his leg over my head. Okay, and then look, get teeter totter. Uh, and I'm always making it so he can't put his leg over my head. Put your leg over my head. If he does, I should go on through. That's another. That's another good. Okay, let's try it out. One, two.